Amanita muscaria, the iconic red and white mushroom, holds a curious place in human history. Often depicted in fairy tales and folklore, this striking fungus is more than a whimsical symbol. It's a powerful psychoactive substance with a long history of use in spiritual practices, particularly in Siberia. For centuries, indigenous Siberian cultures have revered Amanita muscaria for its ability to induce altered states of consciousness, often employing it in shamanic rituals to commune with the spirit world and seek healing. This fly agaric, as it's sometimes called, contains a unique cocktail of psychoactive compounds, most notably muskimol. Unlike psilocybin, the psychedelic compound found in magic mushrooms, muskimol doesn't primarily target serotonin receptors in the brain. Instead, it exerts its effects through a different pathway, interacting with GABA receptors, the brain's primary inhibitory neurotransmitter system. This distinct mechanism of action leads to a unique set of effects, quite different from the classic psychedelic experience. While some users report euphoria and hallucinations, others experience sedation, delirium and vivid dreams. This unpredictable nature, coupled with its potential toxicity, has made Amanita muscaria a subject of both fascination and caution. Despite its long history of traditional use, translating the anecdotal evidence surrounding Amanita muscaria into a modern medical context proves challenging. The mushroom's unpredictable effects, coupled with its potential toxicity, raise significant safety concerns. Furthermore, the lack of standardized dosages and controlled studies makes it difficult to assess its efficacy and safety. To understand the potential effects of Amanita muscaria on mental health, we must delve into the intricate workings of muscimol, its primary psychoactive compound. Muscimol exerts its effects by binding to GABA receptors in the brain. GABA, short for gamma aminobutyric acid, acts as the brain's primary inhibitory neurotransmitter, essentially putting the brakes on neuronal activity. When muscimol binds to GABA receptors, it mimics GABA's inhibitory effects, leading to a decrease in neuronal firing. This dampening effect on brain activity can manifest in various ways, from sedation and relaxation to altered perception and even hallucinations. The specific effects experienced likely depend on the dose consumed, individual sensitivity and the overall set and setting of the experience. Some researchers speculate that Musimol's interaction with the GABAergic system could potentially hold therapeutic benefits for conditions like depression and anxiety. Conventional antidepressants often target serotonin or norepinephrine neurotransmitters involved in mood regulation. Muscimol's unique mechanism of action, however, suggests a potential for a different kind of therapeutic effect, possibly by reducing excessive neuronal activity associated with these conditions. However, it's crucial to emphasize that this is purely speculative. Rigorous scientific research is needed to determine whether muscimol's gabergic effects translate into tangible benefits for mental health conditions. The unpredictable nature of Amanita muscaria, coupled with its potential toxicity, further complicates its potential as a therapeutic agent. The use of Amanita muscaria in Siberian shamanism dates back centuries, woven into the fabric of their spiritual practices and rituals. Shamans, acting as intermediaries between the physical and spiritual realms, would consume the mushroom to induce altered states of consciousness, believing these states allowed them to communicate with spirits, access hidden knowledge, and perform healing ceremonies. Stories abound of Siberian shamans ingesting Amanita muscaria, experiencing vivid visions and embarking on journeys to the spirit world. Some accounts describe shamans donning red and white clothing reminiscent of the mushroom itself, further blurring the lines between the physical and spiritual realms. These rituals, passed down through generations, offer a glimpse into the profound cultural significance of Amanita muscaria in these communities. However, it's essential to approach these anecdotal accounts with a critical lens. While fascinating, they are often steeped in mythology and symbolism, making it difficult to disentangle genuine psychoactive effects from cultural interpretations. Furthermore, the specific preparation methods used by Siberian shamans, often involving drying, boiling, or even drinking the urine of reindeer that had consumed the mushroom, likely influenced the potency and effects of the active compounds. While these traditional practices provide valuable historical and cultural context, they do not constitute scientific evidence. 
Modern scientific methods are necessary to understand the true pharmacological effects of Amanita muscaria and its potential applications in mental health.